Hello, and welcome to this third episode of my Yule Calendar, where I play games that meant a lot to me growing up, or maybe a little later than that. Today, I'm gonna play a Risk clone made in DOS for, um, um, it's called the Battle of Atlantis, and it's cool uh, because I can cheat. Oh, well, I don't know if it's a cheating, but but yeah. Well, let, let's have a look at it. As usually, I'm playing this in an emulator, um, so I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can play this game uh, with me right now if you want or later. And I would like to get your point of view of this game. Um, so this is a game that is... Uh, I'll be better just show you. So it will start about asking for difficulty. I always pick one because, yeah, that means I get a lot of more men to start with. Um, and then I um, and I not a lot of more men, a lot of more land, I guess. Um, then it asks me um, how many armies uh, I should possibly have per piece of land. And to my experience, if I pick eight, uh, which is the maximum, it's gonna be the most fun for me. Great. So now the computer has divided the land between those four armies, and because I chose easy. I'm already in the lead because I am the Olympians playing against the Caledonians, the Argonauts and the Titans. So in this game, I need to secure islands as fast as possible. Um, so I get more, it's a turn-based game. So every every time um, the game changes, um, or the turn changes, I get a number of armies and the more complete islands I, I gathered, um, the, the more I'm in I get. So looking at this map, I have a lot of uh, islands right now. If you uh, look up here, uh, oh, you, I can see my mouse actually. Yeah, you can. Okay, if you look up here, there's a small island where I only uh, need to conquer two um, small um, uh, countries. I don't know which, what you would call them. Um, but I'm also surrounded by hostilities here. If you look over here instead, I have lots of friends over here and friends here. I only need to kick out these two bastards from my island. So I think that is going to be my goal to, to free that island first at least. Of course, I'm going to take it all eventually. But um, this is, my strategy is to conquer this island over here. Great. So the Titans go first. The Titans don't have many uh, countries. Uh, so you see now the Titans are attacking a number of times, which is what they can. I have um, I've been allotted six new armies, and I'm gonna put all these armies on island number two, uh, not island, uh, country number twenty-nine, and I'm gonna do that like that, and I'm placing six armies there. I don't know if it's enough to kick out these two, but I may be able to kick out one of them. So I'm gonna take the weakest one because uh, that's easiest. I'm gonna attack island 27 from, not island, country 27 from country 29. And you see there, I lost six armies and he lost two. I'm gonna try once more and I might lose it all or I might, yeah. So it will now ask me if I wanna attack again. And I'm gonna say yes, attack again. He lost one, once again, once again, and once again. And now I'm gonna stop because I don't wanna get below four uh, on that. I'm just looking around, is there anywhere else I can meaningfully attack? And I don't, don't think so right at the moment. So I'll just say uh, no to more attacks and then I will say pass, which lets the next team play. And I'm gonna have some candy. Uh, as you might notice, I upgraded my calendars a bit. I bought an extra one uh, that contains um, these sour brain. I oh, can't see that because of my face. Sour brain, burn, uh, burn brain, something, something. Um, focus, yes. So this is this tastes horrible, but um, yeah. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. 
I didn't follow along. I lost some some land there, you see, because I only got six armies this time. Oh no, five armies. I'm gonna put them all down on my island number 29. And I'm gonna go straight for the green guy up here. And I'm gonna lose that. One more time. So I need to get a whole island. See, now the Caledonians got a whole island. That's bad because now they're gonna start to grow and they're gonna grow fast. But I'm not changing my strategy because the best strategy for me is still to get a whole island. So I'm gonna go on pounding these green bastards. Oh, 29. Five armies. I'm gonna attack. 28 with 29. <clears throat> Dang it. Okay, now I'm gonna... I probably need some more men, so I'm gonna, gonna move some men from island 25 to 24. I'm gonna move three men, which probably means somebody's gonna take island number 25 now. But I will have a bit more men to tackle the green ones in the next go. Um... Also, when I move men, this will finish my uh, my round. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, this is bad. Okay. At least now I got 10 people to attack with. 10 armies, I guess. And I'm gonna leave that island down there. Um, because it's more important for me to get a whole island. Uh, Great. And then I'm gonna attack 29 from 27. And I'm gonna stop there because I only got three armies left. And then I'm gonna attack from, from 30 and I got my first island. And I am still in the lead. The Caledonians uh, have one less than me. Uh, my next goal should probably be to do yeah i should probably try to get the island in the corner as well yeah and then build build out from that that's probably of oh, all i could go for for the one in the corner uh because that would kick out some of the the the, the grace which would probably be a good thing But that would be easier. I think I'm gonna take the island in the corner first. Okay. You see, now I've got eight armies because I have more land now. Um. I'm not sure that's gonna be enough to kick out those bastards. Um, but what I will do is that I will take the th two of the three armies here and move them down there just to like fortify that position. That would probably be a good idea. So I am moving from 27 to 24. Two men or two armies. I don't know why I keep calling them men. I put all the men down on uh, country number three, and I'm gonna attack country number number one now. And it's gonna be a close match. And I won't go further. Uh, well, maybe I should. Hmm, I don't know. The problem is that the Greys have eleven right on the next island, so I probably I'm probably best off not going any further there. And then in the next round, take the other part of that island and fortify it. Okay, um, more candy. I just, I always forget to eat the candy. I'm gonna try these uh, licorice balls. I like those.
You know what? The lighting is actually pretty bad. Yeah, give me a second. That helps. Okay, he didn't take my island up there. That's great. That means I'm gonna take it. Oh, he didn't take my undefended country. That. Like that. And now I have 11 armies right there. Which means that that guy down there will have a hard time attacking me. And instead I can focus on taking this island, which I think is a good move. Okay, because I have an island more now, I got 10 armies. And this is actually nice because I already have a large army there, so they can attack me from over here. So I only need to capture these four uh, countries and put an army down there to keep them defended. I'm gonna put these 10 armies at country number 42. And I'm gonna kick out these gray bastards with that. It should be easy, yes. The greens are probably gonna be a little bit harder to get rid of. So, do I move them? I'm, I'm gonna need to take one of these countries and make them weak, so it might, might as well be that one. Well, that was a gamble. Um, I don't think I'll do any more right now. But I think those gray ones started to become a little bit too big. Let's move on. So I like this game, it leaves me room to eat a lot of the candy. Not the plastic though. Okay. 10 more armies. 41. 10 armies. Attack 40 from 41. Like that. And I think I'm gonna pass now. Because right now, neither the Argonauts or the Titans are really a threat to me. However, the gray ones is probably gonna be the ones I need to, to fight with. So I'm gonna build up an army right there and move in and take that island. Now having three islands, I get 15 armies. Great. And it would make sense for me to move the army in and take the first country of the island, because that means that my opponent will get less armies next time. And I have 24 armies right there waiting for him. And he has uh, like five left there. So let's see how that goes. Great. And I'm gonna move 10 there. Because I want seven left to defend, um, to defend over here. Because this guy, if I leave one there, he will most likely go for it. And um, I mean, yeah. I'd like to keep my islands. And I'm gonna pass now. And the attack back. And 
didn't do much damage. Oh, now there's a disaster happening. So, it... yeah. There was a flood happening and it only affected this country down there, so... The Cal Caledonians got some beating by Mother Nature. I don't mind that. 15 armies. I'm gonna put them into uh, country number 15. Um, and I, st I still have that army up here, which uh, as soon as this is, has been captured, I don't need the, that many men there. Um, so I can attack four with five, and I'm gonna weaken, weaken them about that much. And then I'm gonna attack them again with number three, and move six men down there. Then I'm gonna pass. See, this game is really good for eating candy. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, let's try that again. Okay, well, it was expected for him to try to fight back somehow. No, you don't. Ah, God damn it. That uh, green guy is getting a little bit too strong for my taste. I'm probably gonna try again now. Yeah. Okay. I need to do something about that. So he can't attack me when he's weaker than me in general. And that just cost me the island again. Green tries to attack the the red instead, so that's good. I just realized that this might be a better strategy because that is not threatening me from both both sides. Fourteen armies, and I'm gonna. Kick a beat, beat in that his general direction. He really don't want to let, let let that island go. I can see that. Okay, maybe I'll actually have a chance at capturing this island now. So, I need to defend, need to defend both from that direction and that direction. So dividing my armies might convince him not to try and attack. Ah crap, he's taking my small island now. That's not fun. Anyway, I still have three islands now. I'm gonna take it back. Still need to fortify it over there again. Ah, crap. 
Okay, I need to reconquer it and fortify it. But I will have 15 armies to do that with. I I got my four islands fortified. Uh probably do a bit more fortification. Um but yeah. I think there's a good chance we'll try to take some of the land down there back. So I think seed number five will be a good point to for um, fortificate. And then I can attack 14 from five and move down there. So that will rob him of one island, give him less men. And that will move my defense point from this island a bit down. And it also means that I can take this army over here on island on city 40 and attack city or country 34. Uh, when this green fella dies, which he will do probably next round, I guess. He's preparing to take that back. And he pre prepared to take that back. And he almost succeeded. Okay, well. He almost succeeded. Yeah, just spent some resources fighting the Titans. I don't mind that. I should probably take that island down there. Because he's probably just gonna keep trying to take it back. At least do like that. So the problem is, as soon as the green guy dies, uh, the Caledonians can use all his men fighting me, which I don't like. Ah, <sighs> what else do we have? We have some of this famous marzipan bread. Yeah, I bought some more calendars because. I was in a shop and I saw someone I didn't have, so I bought them. Ah, crap. I didn't notice to put that many men right there. I'm gonna get my ass kicked now, I think. Yeah. I'm done. Well. I used to play this game for hours and hours. And normally I'm better at it than this. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so my, um, my dirt simulator crashed. That didn't, doesn't matter. I would have lost anyway. Um, but. I still think it's a fun game and uh, I would like to hear your thoughts about uh, about this game. You can play it on the emulator down below and uh, let me know if you know what I did wrong. Where, what should have I have done different maybe. I should have eaten less candy and paid more attention to what happened on um, uh, to what happened on, on the screen. Uh, then I would have noticed that guy uh, building up a huge army taking over my island in an instance. Yeah, well, I didn't, so, um... Mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe for another episode tomorrow. Don't forget to comment down below, play the game, share this video with all your friends, It'll make me so happy. And then, I guess I see you out there on the dark interwebs, on the dark corners of the interwebs. Happy Yuletide to you, my friend.